In this video, we will discuss the problem maximize the array. The problem says that we'll be given two integers array, array one and array two. So these two arrays will be containing integers inside them and both of them will be of size n and we need to use the greatest element from the given arrays to create a new array of size n. So the new array that we create should be of size n such that it should contain only the unique elements and the sum of uh, its element should be maximum possible, right? So the sum of its element should be maximum possible and we need to create the elements such that it first of all contains the elements of the array ARR2 and then it contains the elements of the array ARR1. So let us try and discuss the first test case that has been given to us and previously this problem has been asked in Microsoft. So let's discuss the first test case. So let us say that we have been given the n value is 5 and we have been given the array as 7 then 4 then 8 and then 0 1 right this is the first and then we have been given the second array as 9 7 2 3 and 6 so now the first thing that we need to notice is it says that the element should be unique right that in this new array that we will be making all the elements should be unique in the new resultant array that we are making all the elements should be unique so they should be present exactly once the first case is this and what we can think of is we can think of using a set data structure right we can use think of using a set because it allows uh, only one unique presence of the element right so what we can say is that we will put all these elements into a set now one more thing this problem is saying is that the sum of its element should be maximum possible right sum of all its elements is maximum so sum of the elements that we are choosing is maximum so we can say that will be choosing the elements in descending order right we'll be choosing the larger element first of all right that is also one more thing that we need to notice and the created elements should contain the uh, elements of the array ARR2 and then ARR1 so we can say that first of all we'll put all this data into a set so if we put the data into the set so what happens 0 then 1 then what happens uh, like first of all 0 then 1 then we'll pick 2 right then we'll pick the element 3 then we'll pick the element 4 then we can see there is no 5 so we'll pick the element 6 then we'll pick the element 7 then we'll pick the element 8 and then we'll pick the element uh, 7 will not be picked again right so we'll pick 8 and then we'll pick 9 so you can see that this is how we'll be picking the elements and how many elements do we have so we had n is equal to 5 so total there are 10, 10 elements that we are inserting into the set but the set size is not 10 because some repetition elements were there and they are removed now you can see that the set size is greater right because 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 total 9 elements we are having in the set and we only want the 5 elements we only want the 5 elements to be present right so we can say that since we want just the 5 elements so we can start eliminating the starting elements because in a set the elements are present in an ascending order in C++ right the set in the set the elements are present in ascending order so if we want to remove the elements right if the set size is what the size of the set is nothing but what the currently the size of the set is 9 and we want the size to be 5 so if the size of the set is greater than n in that case what you can say is we can remove the elements from the starting so we'll erase this element so if we erase it size becomes 8 if we erase 1 then the size becomes 7 if we erase 2 then the size becomes 6 if we erase 3 then the size becomes 5 and now you can see that we just have 5 elements from 4, 5, 4, 6, 7, 8 and 10. So we just have 5 elements in the set. Now 4, 6, 7, 8 and 9. You can see that these elements are the elements that we are having. Now there is one more thing that we need to notice is. But before that we need to copy this case right. We need to copy the test case to see furthermore. Now the problem is asking us to return the answer in such a manner. That first of all the elements of the uh, second array is contained and the, then the elements of the first array is uh, contained right. So the second array is having the elements as 9, 7, 2, 3 and 6. So I can say that I'll, I'll try to find each element. I'll try to iterate through the first array first of all and I'll try to see that which elements are present in the set. So I can say that I'll search for 9. So I can say that for 9, 9 is present here. So that means I'll write 9 and then I'll uh, see 7. So is 7 present? Yes, 7 is present. Now I'll go to 2. Is 2 present? No. I'll go to 3. Is 3 present from the second array? Is 3 present here in the set? No, uh, 3 is not present. So that's why I'll not put it. Is 6 present? Yes. Then I'll insert 6 in the answer as well, right? After this, uh, the first uh, after the first array is iterated, I'll go to the second array, right? I'll, after the second array is iterated, after the array 2 is iterated, I'll go to the first array and I'll say that uh, the first array is what? Uh, this, this much, right? So I'll say that I need to put the elements of the 
first array as well so i can say i can see that in this first array i also need to put 8 here right i also need to put 8 here then 7 uh, basically 7 uh, 9 then 8 like 7 9 8 7 and 6 right because 8 was also like 8 was not there okay 8 was in 8 is in the second array only so currently we have put it in the correct manner now you will be able to observe right you will be able to observe that what do what do we require to put so we'll iterate through this array and we can say that 7 is already inserted right so basically we'll erase we'll erase 7 from the set right we'll erase all the elements that we have already put so we'll erase 7 we'll erase 9 and we'll erase 6 now we have just 4 and 8 remaining so we can say that 7 is not present in the set uh, we'll say that 4 is present yes 4 is present so I'll, I'll say 4 and then we'll say that is 8 present yes 8 is present so we'll say 8 now you can see that 9 uh, 9 7 6 right 9 7 6 and then 4 and 8 you can see in this output you can see that we are getting nothing but 9 7 6 and then 4 8 and that is what we are also getting 9 7 6 4 and 8 so this is how we'll be getting this let us uh, try and implement this code first of all so what we'll be having is we'll be having first of all a set let's say set int st so we'll first of all declare a set that will store all the integers one by one for us we'll also have an answer vector so we can say that vector int let's say resultant vector that we are having after this part is done so what i'll say is i'll need to iterate through all the n elements one by one uh, so that i can insert them into the set so i starts from zero i is lesser than n and i plus plus and then what i'll do is i'll insert both the set elements both the elements uh, of elements of both the array arr1 and arr2 into the set so i'll say that set dot insert because i st dot insert what st dot insert array of array one of i right i'll insert the first uh, first array elements as well as the second array element simultaneously i can do that and they will get uh, arranged in the set in a unique manner as well as in the ascending ascending fashion right so i'll say that array two of i so basically i have inserted all the elements into the set then i will say that is the set size set size greater than zero so a greater than n so if this st dot size is greater than n if the size of the set is greater than n then in that case what will i do i will say that i need to erase some elements from the set i will say that uh, s st dot erase what do i want to erase i want to erase the elements from the beginning so i will say that star s dot begin so i'll erase nothing but the uh, starting elements from the set right that are present in ascending order because uh, if i er erase the starting elements that are the smaller elements in that case i can maximize my sum right after this part is done so i'll say that i need to iterate through the second array and i'll say that in i starts from 0 i is less than n n and i plus plus and then what i will say is that i need to find i need to have i need to declare an I iterator so i'll say that auto iterator is equal to is equal to i'll try to find so i'll say that i'll uh, write this function that st dot find st dot find array 2 of i so if i find the ith element of the uh, second array in the set in that case what will i do if it if it is found right if it is found then in that case what will happen iterator will not be equal to the set dot n so if the iterator is not equal to the set dot n so in that case that simply indicates that the ith element of the second array is present in the set so in that case i need to say that i will push it back into the set so i'll say that result dot push back nothing but array 2 of i so I'll, I'll push this element inside my set and i'll say that i need to erase it from the set so i'll say that s dot s dot erase nothing but array 2 of i so i need to erase this particular element from the set so that i i do not take it again from the first uh, first array right if it is present in the first array as well right once this part is done from the uh, second array so i'll do the same thing in the second uh, from once this part is done in the second array i'll repeat the same process for the first array as well so what i'll say is that again i need to declare auto itr which will help me to find which will help me to find whether the element is present or not so i'll say that uh, i'll apply the function str.find and array 2 array 1 of i so i'm finding the ith element in the set if the ith element is present in the set then in that case iterator will not be pointing to the end so if iterator is not equal to st.end right if it is not equal to st.end in that case what will i do if it not it is not equal to the st.end and in that case i'll push the ith element of the first array into the resultant vector so i'll say that uh, result dot push back nothing but array one of i right and then i'll say that i i'll erase this element so i'll say that s dot erase nothing but array one of i so i'll erase this particular element and in the end i can simply say that i'll return the answer let us try and quickly compile this code to see if it works on the samples so we are getting a compilation error let us quickly check that so it is saying star s dot begin okay i should write st dot uh, begin right because the set name is st and similarly i think here also 
if I have used so ST I should write okay and here also I should write ST let us now compile it again another compilation error so it is saying we are returning the answer instead we should return the result right now it should get compiled and work on the samples so you can see that it is working on the samples we are getting the output as 9 7 6 4 and 8 let us submit this code to see if it is working or not so you can see that our approach was able, was able to pass all the test cases of this particular problem now talking about this problem furthermore so the time complexity for this problem the time complexity for this problem is going to be order of n log n because we are using a set and in a set the elements are present in an ascending order and to insert the elements into a set it takes log n time right and that's why the overall time complexity would be n log n and the space com complexity for this problem would be order of n right because we are using additional order of n space by storing all the elements into the set apart from this this problem has been asked in microsoft so thanks a lot for watching this video in case if you like the explanation make sure to hit the like button and comment out comment down understood in the chat thank you